My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to the Binding Isaac Afterbirth. Alright, what have we got left to do? We've got Keeper in Greed Mode, we've got Lost in Greed Mode, we've got Lilith going to Hush, and that's it. How about we go Lilith to Hush? How about that shit right there? How about we do that? I'm a huge fan of it. So, we've obviously got a library directly above us to spawn with, because the shop cannot spawn that close to your starting room. It just can't happen. It doesn't happen. It never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Hang on. And... Ugh, damn it. I know that there is a position in which you can kill the enemy to actually have them spawn their heart outside. But, unfortunately, that is where the limit of my knowledge lies. I don't know what position it is, and I don't know if it would actually be particularly viable. Specifically for a character who is controlling tiers that are not at, or their origin point is not the character's hitbox and location. Because we've got Incubus firing for us. Speaking of Incubus firing for us, let's see what types of tiers Incubusable... Sorry, Incubusable? Incubus will be doing for the rest of the run, or we can just get Sacrificial Dagger and... Laugh. <laughs> a lot like that. That's just an example, a sample, a teaser of what laughter sounds like. Just in case you're unfamiliar. So, Arcade Next Floor looks relatively likely. Would very much enjoy, would relish the opportunity to get a key. Or not, apparently. Oh, whoops, bye, Ragman. Binky, nice. Tears and I'm a dumb dude. I've totally forgotten to launch the stats, haven't I? God, I'm a dumb dude. I'm just the dumbest man of all time. Hang on, let me do this. And then... Boom! I learned recently, by the way, that you can actually load them. You can uh, load the mod while the game is running. Which means that very recently, what would it be, three episodes ago or something, I made a very stupid mistake by having to quit and then reload in the middle of an episode to load up the mod. Whoops. Okay. Get myself up here just so that I'm ready to go in for the strike. Easily done. Ooh, that's some money if I've ever seen some. I'm basically just going to be using the Sack Dagger right now. Until I get more powerful tiers, there's no reason really to avoid using the Sack Dagger. It does damage so often. So often! It was upgraded, basically, in case I haven't mentioned this. I know I've mentioned it in another run, but I don't know if I've mentioned it in this one yet. In fact, I'm certain I haven't. I don't know why I said I didn't know. Uh, it's now does damage more often than it used to. Okay, that could actually be north. Hang on. Hmm. I'm going to do this first, though. <sighs> yeah, that was a dumb idea. I should have at least blown up the key bag. Anyway. Yeah, it does damage really often. More often than it did in after- uh, sorry, Rebirth. But it does the same amount of damage per tick. So overall, it's just way better. Oh, come on. Alright, I'll use my tears then. Fine. See, I got hit when I used my tears. Not when I was using the Sack Dagger. Oh no. The Sack Dagger is safe as hell. Using our actual tears, now that's the problem. Easy. Thank you for the damage. And empty vessel! I reward an empty vessel. Yeah, I believe we have flight as a result of empty vessel. Just because we don't have any red hearts? Is that how this is working? Hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. I am not going to be able to get a key at all this floor. 
Well, that's kind of annoying. Haven't gotten key last floor. Didn't get a key this floor. Did get a bomb. Did waste the bomb. So it's possible that if you were running through this seed, you would have been able to get a key by using that bomb strategically. However, I didn't. And I paid the ultimate price. Well, actually, just short of the ultimate price. I didn't die. But I did miss out on an item room, which is kind of sad. Okay, enemies that leave creep, I'm going to be particularly scared of in terms of using my melee on them. Wow, Fat Bat is actually strong enough to avoid the melee. Oh, by the way, Empty Vessel also just gives you random invincibility sometimes, I believe. I don't think it's on hit. I think it's just randomly invisible. Invisible, sorry, invincible. Which is excellent, if I do say so myself. And I do. You can hear, I just said it, obviously. Okay. Well. Oh, God. No. I need to be empty vessel again. No, I fucked up. Why did I take placenta? Alright, I'm gonna get an- I'm gonna need to get a deal with the devil soon. Or, if I was super ambitious, I would ask specifically for a black market. Ooh. Now that would be a good time. Mm-hmm. Nope, can't do it. Don't have enough health for it. What's going on in here? Yeah, I may as well do that. So, the problem with our build at the moment, what is the problem with our build? If I had to say a problem with it, primary on my list would be it's not a good hush build. It's going to be pretty good for speed. We're probably going to get to hush in time, which is good. That's always, you know, requisite, literally. Uh, but it's just not good for killing Hush. Because you don't really want to be doing contact damage to a boss like that. Uh, that can't be it. Oh man, if I had flight in this room, it would be so much better. Alright, I'm gonna check this. Uh-huh. Deal with the devil. Bunch of chests. Health. No, I can't get a health down, unfortunately. Why did I even bother using pills? I know that pills are bad and I still keep using them. I'm addicted. Uh, yeah, I really wish I still had that flight. Oh, well. Mm-hmm. Oh, perfect. Kind of exactly what I was looking for here. Use one bomb for the possibility of money, but primarily on my list, sorry, uh, high on my list was Steam Sale and stuff like that. Uh, yep, excellent. I'll take that, and I'll take the Charge Baby, of course. You know what? I'll actually take the key also, just because I can't guarantee keys in my runs, unfortunately. If I've been shown anything by the earlier flaws of this run, it's that I cannot guarantee keys. Okay, okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. We can clear most of these rooms almost. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm actually gonna go back because I can get an extra 5% chance for the deal with the devil just by blowing up a shopkeeper. That's significant. I think 5 I think 5% 5 is the point where you can say something is significant. I've won games before off of 5 cent rolls. Sorry, 5% rolls. It's mostly in Hearthstone, however. Because you don't really get to see the RNG work in the background of games like this, unfortunately. 
of course, I get to, thanks to Missing Hut 2. Way! I think I've started linking Missing Hut 2 in the descriptions of these episodes. If I haven't, feel free to yell at me, because I really should be linking it in the description. Not just to give credit where credit is due, although that is part of it. But also because... You know, it's something that people might want to use. Alright. Why was everything frozen? I'm gonna guess that might be... No, but it can't be Empty Vessel, because I didn't have Empty Vessel. Trigger. I haven't got Empty Vessel triggered. I mean... Oh! Of course I'm not gonna take damage to the explosions. I have Pyromaniac. Well, uh, don't make me larger. Have I? I think I was already made smaller by something, though, so... This isn't significantly different. <laughs> I like it a lot. Easy. And Mega Fatty. Now, the problem with Mega Fatty is going to be... Watching out for the creep and at the same time watching out for the fact that if I am close enough to melee he's also close enough to suck me in in half a second ah ow okay that was just brainless damage on my part there's no real justification for taking that down oh my god okay we got trouble, boss. I need to find something real good in the shop. That's real good. Alright, and now we've got two different items offered in here. I'll take Cancer. For the HP up plus, you feel protected. So, I'll only be able to take one full heart of damage to the Hush. And then from then on, it has to do half hearts. Because basically, I'll have the wafer effect. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good deal. Okay. Let's make our way out to the boss room. If I can take a deal with the devil, any deal with the devil, I don't have preference. I just want to take one so that I can fly. It will activate Empty Vessel. Empty Vessel will allow me to fly. I can come back to that room. I can blow up two stone chests. Uh, I can blow up a bunch of shrooms. I can open golden chests. Oh, it will be a fabulous time. Alright, one of you down. And the other one is deceased. Really? God. Alright, I'll take it. Wow, no deal with the devil. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I'm finding the secret rooms. No? Can't be anywhere near that. I'm finding the secret rooms. I need to try and get my way into this deal with the devil. No, can't be there. Could be there. Nope. No, it can't. Alright, shit, there is literally one location for it left that I can think of. Right here. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll admit that much. It's a pretty good payout. Okay, super secret. Let's try and find that now. Uh... Whoa! That was dumb. I was trying to hold down tab while directing myself in all of the correct directions. You know what? Super secret? Fuck it. I'm not going to be able to find it, unfortunately. Usually I rely on it being pretty close to the boss room and then work from there, but it's nowhere near the boss room, apparently. Alright, let's get out of here. 100% guaranteed deal with the devil this floor, at least. Don't be XL. It wasn't XL. Ah, oh, dang it, I've been healed. Yep. That'll happen. If 
Thanks for the damage. A lot of bombs there. God damn it. See, my tears are actually to blame on that one as well, because my... Oh, of course we've got an Incubus. Because we've triggered Cambian Conception by the amount of damage we've taken. Right. I forgot about that. That's one of the reasons I really like having a arcade to farm, as specifically Lilith. Ouch. Hmm, keep going onwards. Find an item room or a shop, please. Uh, that'll work for the moment. Sure, Spirit Hearts, okay. It's better than nothing. Pyromaniac is actually proving to have significant worth for us. Okay. And... I mean, we can actually only take this, unfortunately. Unless we've suddenly become huge, huge fans of throwing away all ability to succeed at this video game. Have we? I don't, I don't recall becoming a huge fan of that, but, you know, it's totally entirely possible that, that happened while I wasn't watching. Thanks for the luck up, nerd. Right. I just want more things from Cambian Conception. That's, that's a majority of the way that I'm thinking right now, to be honest. Uh huh, easy and... Okay. I have no problems with this. Excuse me? Both troll. Wow. Okay. Let's think. Boss room. If I were a boss room, and I'm not, just in case you were confused with the possibility, I didn't mean to suggest it as, uh, suggest it as something that could possibly be likely. It's entirely unlikely. I, I, d I don't mean to have made it sound otherwise. Uh, really, that's that's my bad. It's 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 a flight of fantasy. It's 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 a phrasing that I'm trying to employ in the situation. But if I were a boss room, and I, I hasten to remind you, I'm not. I'm a human. But if I were, where would I be? I'm thinking way fucking far away from the sport, and I found it. Okay. Dang it. Double dang it. All right, let's move in here. Oh. Fuck this boss. Just get in close and hope you don't die. Hate this boss. Alright, please. Thank you. Thank you. A lot. Okay, Rotten Baby is good. I want to have as many Rotten Babies as possible. The Nail. Fine, I guess. I'm not taking it with me. But, by picking it up, I have activated Empty Vessel once again. Which I think I might need. So now I don't want to take health. Ever. Even if it's on offer. Fuck you. In fact, fuck you. Alright, I might actually be able to get 45% chance at a deal with the devil after the boss here. That's not insignificant. I should try and fire tears at all times, because only firing a tear actually activates... Or trying to fire a tear, rather. So... Lining up a tier, basically, also does it. But only firing a tier will activate the Rotten Baby. Ah, uh huh. Empty Vessel gave me immunity. Which I then use for damage. Uh, I've already dad done... Uh, dad done's key. Yes, good work, Ryan. I've already done dad's key. So I may as well actually take the orbital, because... Strangely... I would like it more? Starter deck just turns all pills into cards for me, basically, at this point. It doesn't give me another one to hold, because I already had one. I already had the ability to hold two. Thanks to... Whatchamacallit? You know whatchamacallit. Uh, full pockets, or whatever it was called. Oops, that was dumb. Just wasted half a spirit heart there. 
At this point, I might actually consider... Oh, apparently that's an explosive hit that hits the floor there. At this point, I may actually consider the possibility... Strength. Hang on, I can use strength and hit that. Oh, fuck. No, I can't. Right, leave the room, come back. Now I've got flight again. Because it, it deactivated my flight. Of course it did. <sighs> okay. That's what I want. I just want that immunity to trigger as often as possible. BFF would be excellent. I do get one more shot. So it's possible. Let's cross our fingers. Uh, this one, certainly the better option for me. Uh, no thank you. Ooh. It's rough. Really can't see where I'm going. Oh, demon baby. Alright, I'm taking him. And then I'll stars to teleport out of the floor. And then I'll leave. Oh, cool! I've got, I've got, uh, the little brimstone baby. Man, I've got a lot of babies. Now I just need health. I do need this spacebar item, though, because it's going to be a significant part of our success against Hush if that were to ever occur. I'm not saying it will. That'd be a little presumptuous on my part. I'm just saying that it is a distinct possibility, so long as we hold these... Uh, this setup of items. Okay, I now have half of a red heart. Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Half of a spirit heart. So the next hit will kill me. Oh, now I've got invincibility. So I can just run in and destroy everything instantly. That's a long-lasting random triggering invincibility. Another spirit heart for us, so now we can actually feel a little bit more relaxed about it. Uh, I'm thinking over this way. Well, that was dumb, because as it turns out, I have flight. I could have just flown over and finished that room instantly. Well, back down to half of spirit heart. Excellent! I wanted that whole room to finish itself instantly. Please give me a spirit heart. Aww. Oh, fuck this room. I hate this room and it hates me. I hate you. You hate me. We aren't a happy family. Da -da 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 -da. Just finish them while hovering over here. Not letting them ever get anywhere near your actual hitbox. That seems a relatively good idea to me. Uh, do I gamble that there's a deal in there? You know what? Yes, I do. Alright, there was a deal, so... Yes. My gamble technically paid off. I got a spirit heart out of it, so basically I transmuted the pickup that I wouldn't have taken into a spirit heart, sorry, a black heart rather, and a luck up. Yeah, alright. Not that bad. Not bad at all. I know I've not been doubling my minions often at all, but it's also not super relevant, is it? Uh, and we're back down to... Oh, it doubles the head. Hang on, am I firing twice as many tears? No, of course, because I'm not firing the tears. Incubus is. Damn. Because the tears do come from the head, so... I was thinking... Hang on! If the tears come from the head, but they come from Incubus... Oh, wow! This item is actually just excellent for... Uh, for Lilith. Guillotine, that is. Because it's just a high damage orbital. High damage orbital with a huge hitbox.
And it's a tier delay down, I believe, actually, rather than a tier rate up. So that's super exciting as well. Joker. Yera. Joker and Yera. Well, I'm going to be sad when I lose this run. Which, by the way, is almost guaranteed. Just in case you were unfamiliar. Yeah. We're probably going to lose this run. In case you had hope. Uh, let me just crush that right now. That spirit heart gives me a little more hope than I would have had otherwise. It fills me with determination is what it does. Well, that was dumb. I was in the wrong position. Ah, because I'm thinking my head is my position. Damn it. Oh, man, little Brimstone's so far in the back there. Not really hitting many of his shots. Okay. Bombs everywhere they'll be accepted. Money is pretty damn important, actually, if we're going to get another shot, which we are. Thanks to the glory of there being a shop just before fighting Hush. By the way, that's an incredible design decision. It's a very responsible design decision. Because it's easy to just go, no, why would there be? They, they either get super powerful before fighting this, or they just can go fuck themselves, I guess. But, no. They actually give you, first off... A really good opportunity to get that last shop that you need for a break but also it lessens the impact of having a run where you're like man I just really want one shop but unfortunately greed just keeps showing up it lessens the impact of that because you can just go fine I guess I'll fight the hush to get my shop if your run is powerful enough or if you think the shop will make you powerful enough which you know, chaos restock, it totally can. Two item rooms as well? That's awesome. I'd really like a spirit heart as well. Okay, it shouldn't be able to jump anywhere over here. Yep. I, I couldn't control my body because I was constantly focusing on controlling the head of the character because that's where I think my hitbox is. That's where your hitbox almost always is. Guillotine has its downsides. For other characters, I often list one of the downsides as the fact that your tears are no longer fired from the center of your body. But as Lilith, just then, I've proven that that's not actually the bigger problem for me. The bigger problem is not being able to direct myself correctly. You saw me put the bomb in the wrong position a bunch of times. And that almost always has to do with the fact that I put it where the head was. And the head was in the wrong position according to the body. Oh well. <sighs> we likely didn't have that much of a chance against Hush anyway. Unless we managed to get, I don't know, pajamas somehow. And get four spirit hearts. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been the Binding Lies of Afterbirth. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description below with all of my content on the video game, past, present, and future. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.